guys welcome back to my channel I know I haven't been here in such a long time but I'm back um, a lot of you guys have asked me for my opinion about the keto diet so this is what the video is gonna be about um, but first before I say my opinion I want to kind of talk a little bit about the diet so you guys are familiar with it I know it's very popular right now and you probably know it's low carb high fat but I want to kind of dig in a little bit more so people understand what it is let's get started but like I said before it is a diet that is focused on very low carbs and high fat. So to put that in perspective for you guys to know what really high fat means, I'm going to compare the keto diet macro ranges versus the regular recommended diet of macro ranges. From your overall food for a regular diet, you should be having 45 to 65% of it from carbohydrates. 10 to 35% from protein and 20 to 35% from fat versus the keto diet. The keto diet, the carbohydrate is 5 to 10%. That is such a huge change from the regular one. So that's why it's very low carb. And then the protein is 10 to 20%. So you see it's like a little bit less um, protein for the range. And then for the fat, it's 75 to 95% fat. So it's a lot of fat. <laughs> That we could say. So the whole idea of the keto diet is to transition from using glucose, which is the primary um, source of fuel for your body, and also it's from carbohydrates, into using ketones, which is basically using the fat. So you will have to eat very low carbohydrate, as we've said before, and you know, you, you're eating high fat. So you are burning fat, but you're also eating a lot of fat. So. The purpose of people doing this is because they want to lose weight. That is why every diet there is basically is for people to lose weight. But what is 5% carbohydrate? Uh, the keto diet says no more than 50 grams of carbohydrate a day. Typically, it's 20 grams of carbs only. Kind of put that in perspective for you guys. I eat about 230 grams to like 330 grams depending on the distribution and the day that I have. Yeah. For me, I am 122 I am not tall, so that kind of tells you that short little me, that's what I'm consuming. Um, it's just to put that in perspective, like 20 grams is very, 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 very low. 20 grams is about the size of one small banana, literally. So if you say like, okay, yeah, I can eat one banana a day, that's fine. But you really have to think about all the other foods that you're eating that have small amounts of carbs in them. I see avocados a lot. They also have carbohydrates, obviously very little, but still you still have to count it. So it's it's a diet that you kind of do have to count your macros because if you're not in ketosis, which is the state of you not having enough carbs to use, thus your body uses the fat. If you're not in the state of ketosis, then you know throw the whole entire diet away because nothing is happening. You're just eating more fat now. That's the whole idea behind the keto diet it's gained so much popularity it's kind of crazy um so here's my opinion on it i would not recommend it i would never do it i think it's such a restrictive diet that one you absolutely need to count your macros like i see a lot of people that say oh i'm doing the keto diet and then i look at their plate and it's like no, you're not. You're really not. Um, so a lot of people don't do it right because they're not sticking to their whole um, ranges and are probably not in ketosis. Um, so you definitely have to count your macros, which is not for everybody. Like counting macros, it's time consuming. It is difficult. You have to pay attention to like everything you're eating basically. So that's one thing it's not sustainable because of the fact that not only you have to count your macros but also you're eliminating so many food options that you normally eat obviously you guys think of no carbs as in like no bread no pasta um no junky food but it's also your fruits have carbohydrates your vegetables have carbohydrates and even though you can include them in the keto diet to some extent, you have to be really, really good at like budgeting your carbs basically throughout the day. 
So it's very, it's just not sustainable in my eye. It's something really hard to do. You think about like a restaurant that you're going out with your friends to. Like what can you eat there? It's such a hard, you have to be very, very like specific about where you can go, if you can go out with your friends and eat like that or even drink. Um, I think it's even harder than being a vegan and I'm not even a vegan because I feel like it's hard. To me, it's like very, very restrictive. Also, there is many side effects to it. So that's why people like love it at first and why you have like that dramatic weight loss in the beginning is because the carbohydrate, when they're stored in your body, the first form basically is glycogen. And glycogen for each gram, you store two to three grams of water with it. So when you're depleting your storage of glycogen and you're not really getting more carbohydrates, or at least not as much as usual, you're losing a lot, a lot of weight, but it's water weight because you're no longer holding in that water. So that's also another reason why people, when they get off of it, they gain a lot of weight back. It's not necessarily your fat, it's water. Now, of course, you can lose fat in the keto diet, but that's just a matter of like anything else. Calories in, calories out. How much you're consuming versus how, what's your body expenditure. It's not a miracle diet, and to me, it's something that's like, super restrictive that I really have to think about what I'm gonna eat all the time really budget out my favorite foods no fruits it's just it's not a healthy diet it's not a well-balanced diet and it's very shocking to me when I see um, you know health professionals kind of go on the diet because it's like what are you doing <laughs> like what are you doing even crazier when I see like a dietitian do it, like what? Shocking. Anyways, no judgment, you know, if it's just like everything else, if you feel like it's something that's sustainable for you and that you can stick to it forever, then sure, go ahead. It's it definitely no for me. It's very restrictive, not sustainable. It's just not a healthy diet. I really hope that you guys liked today's video. If you have any other questions about the keto diet itself or something else, then go ahead and drop it in the comment box or just DM me on Instagram at healthwithd. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.